And this is, of course, where you get to rate our democracy uh, using three colors. Green means that our democracy is healthy. Yellow means we ought to be careful. And red, that our democracy may be in danger. Now, born to working class parents in 1929 in Cape Town's District 6, uh, James David Matthews used his writing to fight the evils of the apartheid regime. And he has, over the decades, become one of the most distinguished creative artists in South Africa. Matthews began his journey journey as a writer, working different jobs, including being a newspaper boy, an office messenger, clerk, a telephonist, and also a journalist. SABC News caught up with him at his Silvertown home on the Cape Town Flats, uh, where he's a, this 90-year-old poet and uh, novelist shared his passion for writing. How did you know you want to be a poet, or is it something that you stumbled upon? It was one way of expressing things. In fact, my first writings were prose. And if I must say, uh, writing in a serious manner, I brought out the park and other stories. Now, the park in itself tried to enlighten people as to the horrors of apartheid. Here is a park that blacks could not enter. Whites of all sorts, all ages, the kids, the only blacks that were in the park were, to use a horrible word, the nannies who looked after. Yeah. And of course the park attendant, attendant was also coloured. But I became more and more aware by the horridness of the park because my mother was a domestic servant. My father was illiterate, he was a dock laborer. And my mother did what one would term char for white. So I often walk past the park with a bundle of washing wrapped in a, a pillowcase or whatever to take to the madam. And then I pause outside the park and look at these kids and join it. Now my heart is on these kids on swings and medical round and whatever. The enjoyment on their faces and I couldn't share it. How old were you then? Uh, uh, I must have been about 10, 12. I label myself as a dissident poet fighting the system, the horrors of apartheid. When I wrote Cry Rage in conjunction with Gladys Thomas, Cry Rage, it was the first book of poetry that they spoke about in Parliament. They couldn't decide whether the poetry Cry Rage was a book of poetry or a petrol bomb. So they banned it. In 76, uh, Peter Jones, uh, Johnny Easel, myself, and a few others, we were the, to use the term, we were the four adults with a vast amount of students from UWC. We went on holiday at Victor was their prison. And we, most of us spent uh, our period in solitary confinement. But getting the poems out of prison was a problem because the, the police, Afrikaners, refused to, you mustn't speak closer, then they get annoyed. So I told Ladingwe, when his wife comes, he must speak to his wife in person. Then my and Abra Barbier produced today's Democracy Gauge, and it acknowledges all citizens and is powered by SABC News. And that